Well, everybody, it's uh, that time, and so it begins. Time to get the uh, time to get the uh, French polish going. Now we're gonna soak up the soak up the rubber here with uh, some alcohol. This is a, a fresh rubber, so it's going to take quite a bit of material here to get it loaded. Using linen over uh, terry cloth. Uh, didn't really have any cheesecloth or lamb's wool or any wool like that, so. I've used terry cloth before, and terry cloth works an awful lot like uh, like the wool. It's very porous. It holds quite a bit of material. This thing is just sucking it up. Probably end up using most of this bottle just to get my get my rubber started tapping it on the pad to see what the transfer is and then on the back of my hand to make sure that I'm transferring and not picking up so it looks like we're pretty good all right and according to Pablo, my French polishing guru, we're going to fly in and fly off. We're going to start off of the guitar and end off of the guitar. Because we don't want any piles in the middle. So here we go. And this is the initial ceiling. of the wood. So it's going to suck it up real quick. The good news is with this initial coat about 10 minutes, if that, we'll be able to give it coat number two, because this stuff almost dries as soon as it goes on. So, I will get back to you probably tomorrow. We're going to hope to get about 10 layers on today, and then we'll let it dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll get probably another 10 or 15 on tomorrow. We do three or four sets of five with a couple hour dry time in between. And uh, that's ready to go. So we can go ahead. And I picked up, even though I tacked tack this and cleaned that guitar really well, I picked up a little I picked up a little color off of it. So we got to make sure we're not going to transfer any of that color on into the finish. So we have to clean the rubber. Now we need to go with this coat just a little easier on the alcohol so we don't burn into that existing we want to transfer we don't want to pick up okay and you can see now the it's starting to actually get that nice golden color
picking up a little color off of that. It must be pulling, uh, must be pulling some dust out of that. Because there's no other color on it. I'm not bumping into the rosewood anywhere. Nice. And this is just a, a nice blonde shellac. So this isn't going to impart too much color into it. It will give it an amber tone, which it's already given it just a little, which as you can see is going to look gorgeous with that rosewood. It's going to be beautiful. But I, right now this coat is to protect the top while I sand on the rosewood and the, the sides in the back. I've got that top just absolutely perfect. No blemishes, no, no issues. So I want to get a few coats of shellac on it to protect it while I do the rest. Otherwise you just keep transferring, you know, little fingernail marks and whatnot from the back to the front and then when you flip it over you, you get them on the back and it's just better to go ahead and get the top done and get a couple good layers of shellac on it for protection then start working on the sides in the back and then you don't get any more marks on the front so we will see how she looks tomorrow have a great day